Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Superman number 357. This is from the original 1930s series and this issue came out in 1981. Written by Carrie Bates, pencils by Kurt Swan, inks by Frank Caramonte, letters by Ben Oda, colors by Adrian Roy, edited by Julius Schwartz. There is a backup story of Superman 2020, written by Bob Rosakis, pencils by Dennis Cohen, inks by Joe Gillia, letters by Milt Snappen, Phil Rachelson was the colorist, and Julius Schwartz editor. All right, so the main story is the second part of the latest Vartox saga. Remember, Superman went to this planet Vartox was on because something funny is going on, and he figured out that the people there were creating hazards for him to fight. Well, Vartox is still using his hyperpowers to to stop various catastrophes and Superman is imprisoned in this little sphere thing inside of a dome full of liquid. Now he's only half-heartedly trying to get out of here. He's not pushing himself or anything because he needs to help Vartox figure out what's going on. We get a good recap of last issue so if you missed it you don't absolutely need it. It's good to have but there's enough of a recap here it's not necessary. Now thankfully Superman did show them all of his powers when he got there so he's able to hear what a lot of people are saying and uses x-ray vision that sort of thing and he figures out that they're planning on sacrificing Vartox to this alien god that gives them their chanting powers to create disasters so the whole thing was just a setup to renew their power levels well when Superman tries to escape it turns out the aliens do a little bit more than they let on about him and they're able to put him in this dome thing this helmet that cancels out some of his powers because it simulates a red sun so they shoot him up by the creature known as Moxumbra as a Way of luring Vartox into it. Unfortunately, Vartox falls for it. He's able to shatter the dome around Superman's head, restoring his superpowers, and Superman comes up with a pretty insanely clever way of defeating the monster. Vartox makes a very interesting decision at the end of the story, and it's actually pretty surprising. So we get a good resolution there. I don't think I've ever seen Moxumbra used before, because it looked very much like a Star Trek creature, so maybe that one will reappear someday. But the Superman 2020 storyline has the grandson of Kal-El out fighting crime. A couple of issues back, we got the first appearance of him where he was fighting some ethnic purists, and now we've got him fighting some hilariously ridiculous bad guy who is trying to rob somebody in their space car. So, 2020 didn't quite pan out the way they thought it was going to back in the 80s. We also learned that in fact, Superman had to change his name. He now goes by John Hudson because he had to ditch his Kal-El Kent identity and and stage his own demise. So now as John Hudson, he's got a job that lets him kind of monitor the city, and he's got kind of a thing for his boss, and it looks like she might have similar feelings. But there's all these catastrophes that keep popping up, and he finally figures out what's causing them, and it puts a little bit of a damper on things. Overall, that story was okay. The main story was really, really solid. The backup story was okay. It was a lot better than I expected, but it wasn't particularly interesting, and I didn't really care about John Hudson. I think if he had had his own one shots it probably would have been better because backup stories tend to be too condensed and they don't let the character develop enough so an interesting character just a little too generic at the same time a lot of potential there that was kind of wasted but the main story was great i thought it was a lot of fun and i do kind of like vartox even though he has one of the most ridiculous costumes in comics so i will recommend this because it's a fun book and you should be able to find it relatively cheap there's not a lot of value to a lot of these older issues from the late silver age but they are really fun for all ages overall i would say this was a great issue and i'm real happy with my purchase now the cover is awesome i really like the cover i think it does tell you a lot about what's going on there's a sense of peril and dynamics uh superman's angled a little weirdly but still a cool cover so all around a solid comic from the 80s that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods including the patreon and as always we hope to see you on the next one